Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to Video Pro Guide Tutorial. In this series, we will walk you through how to create stunning video with Video Pro Vlogger. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now, let's get the video started. If you often watch video online, you must know that many YouTubers would add voiceovers to their videos as a video demonstration. Adding voiceover to your video will increase the sense of interaction and communication with your audience. But when we get onto shooting, we might find it too hard to get started sometimes due to the excessive ambient noise. Well, you can solve the problem through using some fancy microphone devices, but we can actually address that at zero cost. And the solution lies in recording voiceover in post editing, which is what we will be covering in this video. On top of that, we will also share with you three ways to change the tone of your voice with Vidprog Vlogger. So now, let's get into the video. Here is a project that has already been edited. Now we are going to record a voiceover for it. Drag the playhead in the timeline to the starting point where the voiceover will be added. Find the record tool in the toolbar. Click on it, and the audio recorder window will pop up. Select your recording device down here in the audio device. If nothing is being displayed, check your device is connected or not. After selecting your device, hit the button in the screen and start recording. Well, at this point, the corresponding image will be played synchronously in the preview window. As you finish recording, click on the button to stop recording. Click on the play button after the file name here to play the recording. If you are not satisfied with the result, click discard to re-record. Hit save to save your file. The recording will be automatically added to your audio track. Here is a lake called Novetnate, also known as Novetnate, which is located at the municipality of Stream in Vestnet County, Norway. Changing the pitch of your voice allows you to hide your own voice and create more fun to the video. With Vidiprog, you can have multiple ways to make it happen. First, put the audio clip that you work on to the timeline. Click on it. Find Change Voice option in the Inspector panel where you are also afforded with many other presets to choose from. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Down below you can find to the page through moving the page slider. As before, click on the audio file that you work on. Navigate to the audio bottom in the toolbar. Click on it to activate the audio editor. Find the effects at the top. In the sound effect window, find pitch bottom. Adjust the pitch using the slider down here. Press play and play the audio. Hi everyone, this is Kel. Welcome back to the official channel Video Pro Vlogger. After you make your adjustment, hit apply. The last way here I'm going to show you is to use a speed editor to change your page. This will alter the length of your audio file. You can access the speed editor through using the speed button in the toolbar. Check the change voice pitch on the left. And adjust the speed curve. Well, we suggest you to use the linear speed change to strengthen the speed curve. Otherwise, the sound won't turn pretty strange and awkward. Then, hit apply. Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to the official channel Vidiprog Vlogger. Or you could resort to the time stretch tool in the toolbar. 
Drag the two ends of the audio to control the playback speed. Change your pitch. Hi everyone, this is Carol. But if you choose to use a time stretch to change your pitch, you need to enable the change voice pitch option in the speed editor. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to record voice over and change your voice in VidPro Blogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.